my name is Francis Cavasciuti. I'm a senior technical consultant and I work for Flyform uh, delivering service now solutions. Managed services is literally what it says on the tin. You are looking to have your services managed by an external body, uh, in this case it would be Flyform. And we would therefore provide a team that would be able to manage your instance for you. When something comes up that you're not sure about, so you know something doesn't quite run the way you're expecting it to, you're then gonna have that safe pair of hands that you can lean back to, you can ask the questions of, get the answers, and equally, just that day-to-day -day running of a service of the ServiceNow instances. So not the, the fulfiller side, the actual people doing the work, but the stuff that will just bog down your organization normally of just you know tweaking and updating and changing things. That can all come in through a managed service or a professional service or a platform service contract. And that will then allow you to free yourself up to concentrate on doing the things that you need to do to keep your business running as you want it to and achieve the goals you want to and not be bogged down by having to concentrate on learning the intricacies of parts of the system which really and truly you will touch rarely. Outsourcing to a managed service team like Flyform, the benefits and the pros that you get from that are that breadth of knowledge and that breadth of experience. Instead of it being something that's going to go to your internal IT teams for them to try and identify and diagnose, you're going to be passing it to a team of professionals who have dealt with the ServiceNow instances on a daily basis. They have multiple different clients with all different use scenarios and sizes and effectively there's not going to be something that you're going to come up with that they haven't seen a flavour of before. So having it in-house you're going to end up being bottlenecked normally. Whereas if you pass it out to a managed service team, then really and truly they can expand and they can scale up at pace for you and allow you to achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah, so if, if you use the analogy of um, managed services, or, or more to the point, use the analogy of service now being like a, a car that you've purchased from a, from a dealer. It's an expensive purchase. It's something that you want to invest in. It's something that you'll want to get the full value out of. Um, you don't want to go off and start buying Haynes manuals and these sort of things and trying to learn how to maintain the car yourself. You also don't really want to take it to, you know, Bob down the road who knows how to change spark plugs if it's from a main dealer and, and it's a brand new vehicle. You want to go to the people who are the experts with that vehicle. You want to make sure that it's well maintained. So at the points that it needs to have a little bit of TLC, you want it to have that TLC. At the points where it needs to have the routine checks and the top-ups, you want to have that done. You want to make sure that you are keeping on top of it ahead of time so that when you need it and when you rely on it, it's there. It's doing what you've invested all that money in. And it's exactly the same as ServiceNow. With ServiceNow, you will have invested a good amount of revenue into that, that solution. And the worst thing you can do is once you've done that, once you've implemented and put it in place, let it then go to pot effectively. Because not that ServiceNow has got a massive overhead on it, but it's just something that people will get very enthusiastic about. They will really desire to start stretching and doing as much as they can. And to have a managed service team behind you to be able to help you take those next steps, to be able to give you those health checks on a yearly basis, to be able to help you through upgrade processes. I mean, upgrades alone are something that as an organization, you would benefit so much from having a managed service team in because ServiceNow are very proactive with the new code they bring out. They're very proactive with the features and the functionality that they can offer you. And so you're looking at a major upgrade every six months inside the ServiceNow world. It's possible to do that internally. There's lots of good functionality in place to help you do so. But by having that safety blanket of a managed service team to help you through that process, not only do you know that it's gonna go a lot smoother, 
but also you know that you'll have a team that will be able to highlight to you the benefits that the new product is bringing on, the new version is, is allowing you to exploit. And they'll have an understanding of your business because they'll have worked with you for however long you've been on that contract journey with them. And they'll then be able to really unlock the power that that new version is gonna to bring to you. Well, I've worked with a number of different partners in the past. And what I really like about Flyform's managed service team is that where Flyform is a pure play partner, the managed service team is also a pure play partner. So they live and breathe service now. And so when you go to the managed service team, you're not just getting somebody who happens to be quiet on Azure or, and you know, or, or, or Google or whatever this week and they've jumped across to the ServiceNow cloud solution, you're getting somebody that deals with ServiceNow day in, day out, is passionate about ServiceNow and wants to learn and expand and give you everything that they can. They, these guys are really embedded into everything that we offer as, as Flyform. Equally, we as Flyform are embedded into the managed service team. So, I'm one of the professional service team, but I work closely with the managed service team on a daily basis. You know, I will reach out to them. I will work sometimes quite intensively on particular items, which are maybe a little bit more challenging, or just be dropping in and doing, you know, code checks and quality controls and just sort of be in that additional head that they can bounce things off of. So it's it's about that sort of that, that benefit that you get that, I've seen in other places is, is swept aside as really not being that important. And I think it's a real, real unique selling point that we have.